big, big pick into the Rek'Sai in particular, because the Rek'Sai has been so obnoxious as this bruiser regen tank. You don't get to do that versus the Rumble. You can go towards an early nullifying orb and just keep burning them down. We even saw Shanji go towards Conquer and build, like, yeah. Ranjuins. Go How these uh, skirmishes can lead out to victories. Oh, it's Shun that gets it, I believe. No, it actually is Tien. They're going to get the flash from on. They're moving out, and they're moving in. That's Shun with first blood for BL. We're losing out on them. So let's talk a little bit about the way that they can approach this one. Jackie Love and Mako trying to get the kill on bot side. Can he cash in? One more, and there he goes. He gets the cash in there, but Elk wants to chase him down. Gets one right back for him. And now it's Supportal Combat versus... And towards the enemy jungle and forcing Tian back. He'll be able to get it if he wants to at that same point, but may as well take those extra... Ooh, the slowdown. The slowdown's so big. On can't get away from this one. And one auto, Jackie Love comes up big. He is now 2-1. Take and one. this one for free, Tian. Can you realistically steal this? This is a risk. Ah, it looks like he's not even going to go for it there. The Rend he is not available. There's a two-level difference between Mako and Jackie Love. He's going to use the Whirling Death to try to get the wave there. There's a cease and desist onto Jackie Love. They know who they need, and they get him with a piercing arrow straight through the heart. And even though no the way. 2v2s no were way. They're going to get him. The Fates call in. One more auto. It's another piercing arrow, and BLG come on. Yeah, he's just trying to get on a top side gank and just gonna burn his flash there does get the shattering strike there on the back end magnus storm two the knock up there for 369 is he gonna be able to make it out he does still have his health bar the overheat's coming up they want to dive for this one but he's trying to get around they go under turret and the juggle is complete Top something in the pit here to get some help from jackie love on the other side but just gonna give a kill over to elk and it's a clean kill see if shun has anything to say to it though there is a vi ultimate He's had the better of Tien so far, at least, and other members have had the better of the objectives. He's in there. No, he's not going to get it. He's not going to use that Vault Breaker for it. Elk and on in a little bit of trouble. Magnusorm. Oh, they found the Cease and Desist. That's the Sky's Descent as well. Jackie Love still alive. Going to pop that Whirling Death. And now it's Shun who has the flash. There's the Equalizer in. Ben on the wrong side of the fight, but maybe they will turn back around. Here comes that Breath of Light, and the Breath is cooking top eSports. It's about to be a full-on ace. Oh my goodness, it is. To this point, he has been in the league since 2018, and now we get a fight here over on all by himself, and he'll go down. It's something back for Top Esports. The thing is, though, it feels only their second finals as an organization would be their first victory. As the side lane turret goes down to Bint, it is the rip back line. Of course, they're the Relian Sol as well. They don't need to win all of these fights, right? They're just wave clear. On, actually getting a nice engage from Tien. There's the Enchant Crystal Arrow. He does not have any tools to get out, and that's another death to On. Okay, there's a couple of ults put in towards that. It's nice goal over. I am wondering whether you're just kind of getting that pick just onto the support is enough for them right now. Mm. Though. Again, it's odd kills, but it's not necessarily turning the game. And killing a support is good. It means that you take away some wards, but it's not necessarily the game-changing play that you want. 369 caught out just a little bit. Oh, committed. they're bringing over Elk as well. Equalizer from Ben across the top. He gets denied. He's going to have to burn the flash out there. Jackie Love on the other side gets Chains of Corruption, and the engage is coming through. Look at Ben. He's going to flash with the Flame Spinner. Jackie Love got to get out of there, bud. 369 is all by himself. One Hail of Arrows doesn't do it. Nobody's going to go down as BLG. Ben takes an extra tower shot. He goes down now as well. Now Tien back from the grave and back ready to fight for top esports. Shun gonna go down too and a chash in of Jackie Love. That is Resources your... possible because he is that bridge damage over to Cream. We did get that uh, Leandri second item completed for night now. We get the engage on mid lane. Look how much damage he does. Fate's call use. Oh, the enchanted crystal arrow across the map. The snipe comes down and another one goes over to top. Top Esports again, not more to do that against opponents the level of Top Esports. Dragon's up in 30 seconds, I would imagine that Top Esports will get that. They get themselves two turrets in one fell swoop. Big gold in his hands, he wouldn't be uh, advised at that point. To teleport in from 369, BLG, they're kind of spectating, can they catch someone out on the retreats? Oh. Out of turrets, they just run run over the map. It's going to be that mid lane turret falling just now. <laughs> it's a big moment. Shouldn't take it. No one coming to respond to this. Knight could teleport, but I think Ben's just out of position. Yeah, he's completely out of position. This has been in trouble before, and he's all by himself at a 1v4. As Tian comes over with a shattering strike, 369 pays up. Moving into pressure, top esports under the Baron's ire. He's in the pit here now. Tian needs to make it happen. He's a world champion oh, the for actual. a reason. They're going to go for the engage. They got Knight, and the Sky's Descent will come down in the end. Shun's in the pit, but it's way too early. He's going to go in onto Jackie Love. They actually take down Tien, and now they get the double knockback there. Shun can't get any more damage down, though. And that's a TP, 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 TP. They're going to move out this time, as that's a big flame spitter waiting to come down. He's getting immediately chunked, and maybe we take back his pass to being able to TP into 1v5. On has that Fates call. Use oh, Jackie! 
Arkelov dies to the Baron. No, he misses the piercing arrow there as now they're moving forward. They get the Void Rush and there it is. Three, six, nine, baby, rolling all nine. Back towards the Baron. I don't think BLG can contest on the Dragon. So it means that they'll have to let that one go for free. And in the last series, these games were decided by 15. Well, you see that BLG, they have to keep poking their heads into this Baron and say, are you starting it? Do we have to contest? Are they looking for a fight? They are looking for a fight. They're gonna cease and desist right over on a 369. He's tanky, but he ain't that tanky. There's the engage from Tien, a flash out from Elk. The equalizer coming in from Finn. The Breath of Light trying to dissuade any more engage. Mako's almost dead, but On's getting chased down now by Jackie Love. He's gonna try to use his leaps, but there's the flash. There's Oh, he auto-attacked the ward! Okay, he finally gets the cash in, in there. Drought are in full spring water. They are 5,000 away We're from flipping. burning down this one. It looks like we might flip it soon. Not going to go in the pit just yet. Not going to be denied. Oh, he does get denied. Cream, the man with the difference, has that engage, has that denial from BLG. And now it's Top Esports moving in like the Predators to the prey. The Void Rush comes out for 369 and gets him. And now on the back line, he is, but he's all by himself. The Breath of Light comes up clutch for Knight. Knight able to make the difference. And BLG somehow, some way, they're looking to take down Top Esports after the fight went their way. Equalizer's coming up in a few seconds. No They're gonna way. try and snipe another kill. Sundisk coming out. He's not gonna get cream. He went for Jackie Love there anyways. Oh, flash forward on. He wants it. He wants to make the difference, and he does. That's so big. Five members from top piece. A five-game series here to bring back the reverse sweep, but BLG are rebuffing them at every turn. We're gonna miss on the arrow towards the bot side. Tien gets chunked out here as well. That's the no bios. way he can't get caught. Chains of corruption there. He's dead. Elk finds him again. It is so hard to survive against the long-range nuke of BLG if you're caught out of position. And this is again creeping closer and closer to BLG, getting that map control, which ends games against them. This series means so much to this team. It, of course, it is firstly uh, from the LPL in terms of MSI. Soul for top of BLG need to deny it. Tien on the other side of the wall, gonna take the hex gate, gonna go for the engage. He actually finds it. He has the magnet storm on tonight. Sky's descent is available. He's locked down so heavily. Is he gonna get the pull the trigger on? He's gonna use it to try to save his life, but he can't. That's a lot of damage back. Look at on. They are caught though. As top esports again, the fight turned right back on him. We've seen this before, Nymera, as it's BLG who will not give up the fight so easily. On has that bait call pulled, not gonna pull Elk into it, but it's back to the dragon. We go. Oh gosh. You cannot take your eyes off of any member on the back of it. These fights are not front to back. They're all over the place. Dragon's been started up. Top Esports, they're walking in blind. They have the Ren from on. They have the potential. Tian needs to make it happen. He's a world champion for a damn reason. He gets killed. He gets denied. And Top Esports, they are completely dusted. Here comes Cream. He misses the engage, but it actually gets on. Doesn't matter, though. Enchant Chris Oyer goes wide. Jackie Love trying to get the damage down now as well. But Flame Spitter, he tries to get... It's so cool to see some of these rising stars take it to some of our legends in the league. Sure. Top Esports, they want to burn it. They want to take it. Shun can't get in the pit. The Baron gone to Tien. They don't want to take the engage option back. for BLG and Shun. He has to kick it off. I think he's got a great angle, right? We've got hex gates. That helps you get behind enemy lanes. Yes, you're pushing in towards mid lane here. But look at a couple of these wards just around the place from BLG. Finn could potentially teleport in for an equalizer at the point. He doesn't have to. There's a chance there. Just watch out for that. Top Esports, they are, however, getting some big territory gains across the map. That was the yeah. question. Could they push in, but safely? The answer is for now, yes. A minute left on the Baron. Oh, engage over here. Oh, 369, they have so much damage here. The Morellos is there, too, to keep the healing down. 369, get a Oh, it's going over. It is going over <laughs> so quickly, though. It's Soul, Baron in the last few minutes. Top Esports are playing the objective game, and BLG are not getting clean fights. They can't get the damage down. It's going to be a couple ultis down. Enchanted Crystal Arrow is still very far from going in. Now Shun is in there, but he gets his GA pop. Equalizer on top. The skies have descended, but can it change for BLG? It looks like Top Esports are fighting tooth and nail. They get on Spade's call. Meanwhile, Ben's forced out of the fight, and they're flashing forward onto the bot lane of BLG. They'll find everybody except for Ben, and they'll shove it right up the gut. This is not going to be a clean sweep. This will not be the easy road to a title. Top Esports let out a defiant shout, and they will not go quietly into the night. The night is dark and full of terrors, but Top Esports will light the flame that lights the room. And they move on to the last two towers here. They have resurged the three world champions of the experience across the board. We got a series on our hands. What a late game between these two teams for the most part.